This is the most waited awaited video from our channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create an EMB. So this is the very important step and the final, technically final step in online to get payment for whatever work you have done. So creating EMB. So this is not the only step. The first step is to create a measurement. The second step is to review the measurement. The third step is to create an RFI. The fourth step is to send that RFI to your JE. So these four steps, I have created separate video for each step. I have mentioned the link below in the description. If you haven't seen it, see that because these are the prior steps that should be done in order to create an EMB. So now this is not the next step, immediately next step after sending the RFA to JE. There are some hidden steps that is not relevant to contractors. That is after you send your RFA to your JE, that is bunch of measurements to your JE, he has to check it in the site and he has to verify it. After successfully verifying it 100%, he will send that RFA a bunch of RFIs. Measurement, actually if you are following this uh, series, you will be knowing a bunch of measurement is an RFI. A bunch of RFI will be submitted to JE. It may be single or multiple. So that number of RFI will be verified by JE. That is the next step. That is hidden step. That is the part of government officials. So that RFI will be sent to JE from JE to JE. So what is the AE's role? That is 50% test check. He has to check it 50% of the measurement and remaining 50 he can see and forward it to E. So even if he test checks that will be forwarded to E and also the remaining measurements also is forwarded to E by E by seen and forward. After that E has the role of checking it 10%. 10% of the measurement should be checked. So that is the default rules in CPWD. So after he checks 10%, remaining 90% he can seen and return it. So return to whom? That is you, contractor. So after returning those bunch of RFIs back to you, after checking by JE, AE and EE, you will be getting in your side. Now that is the next step for contractors to create an EMB. In this video, we are going to see how to create an EMB from here. Just follow me. So I have logged in again. This is the home page we get whenever we log in. Before there was only agreement number. We can select the agreement through here. Now we have another option to select name of work. It is quite easy. It is helpful. So I have selected the name of work and we got this so here they have introduced favorite apps whichever apps we are using regularly we can have it here we can align it here so i have aligned rfa here so that what that's what we are using it regularly for billing so i am pressing rfa so obviously this screen appears wherever you see see seen and returned there is a measurements uh, rfa everything is seen and returned by e so RFA pending is 0, when RFA pending is 0 and total number of RFA approved is 33 that is including previous bills and total RFA rejected is 6 that's ok. So now it's time to create an EMB. So here it is EMB, Just you have to just press EMB. So nothing appears here. You have to create EMB. You have to press create EMB. Select civil works. Discipline you have to select civil works. Then RFA category. Measurement and quantity. If it is secured advance you have to press secured advance. So these are the list of RFIs available for EMB processing. That is whichever RFI is approved and returned by executive engineer to us seen and returned those RFI appear here so you have to select so RFIs which we have to bill we can select all so I have selected the RFIs 
whichever is necessary for creating an mb so whatever measurements inside that rfi each rfi contains multiple measurements so that are approved and we we are getting here so that measurements including everything rfis whichever is approved i am submitting to create an emb so press submit so this page appears emb so these are the items whatever we see here just note it you are getting subbed you are getting item number description of item item number is actually the agreement item number agreement quantity we are getting units and executed quantity we can just cross check here i think when whenever it is approved by rfi by e executive engineer that is almost right we can just cross check whether the quantity has arrived here and if there is any error because the erp system is in a developing stage so there may be some errors so that thing can be corrected or noticed and uh, if it is wrong if it is mistaken you can ensure it and then contact for help desk we have separate help desk for this erp system i will cover this how to complain or uh, if you have any problem how to uh, approach it through help desk i will make a separate video for this generate emb you can also print it and check they have given the option now this is just a summary we are generating emb do you want to proceed one emb shall be generated for one rable no further rfis shall be added in this emb so this indicates we have to press proceed emb number 2 actually emb number 1 i have already generated it and it has been bill has been passed this is my second mb and this is my final bill so emb generated successfully actually i am i am demonstrating you with an app actual live work so that uh, it will be useful for you so click okay so here it doesn't end we have to print it out print out i have to print out and also add abstract to it previously when i was creating emb1 i required to create abstract separately in excel let's try and see whether the abstract of cost has been created for this at this point let me print let me have it in the i am downloading it so, okay fine so see here emb number 2 appears for whatever reason emb number 1 i am not able to see uh, because uh, in between i had some problems i approached to help desk and from division side they have done something uh, then only i was able to enter uh, second bill quantities so that's not an issue we are concentrating on this bill so emb is already been downloaded let's print it out let's open it see here so emb number 2 uh, we are getting all the measurements in it rfi number measurements everything we are getting in it so finally we are getting uh, even the summary of it summary of emb2 so whatever quantity has been added that that summary we are getting so total page number 27 for this agreement this is serial number of 2 so this thing we have to just print it out and attach abstract of cost now let's just let's just try is erp having abstract of cost at this point let's click abstract of cost still they have not developed abstract of cost even though they are repeatedly saying to follow the erp system but still it is in error condition but as i did in previous build i have to make separate excel sheet for abstract for this emb this emb for now just contains only measurements approved measurements with summary with that help of that summary and previous build data you have to create an abstract of your own and you have to minus since previous bill first story whatever you have got in the first story you have to minus it and then you have to arrive this bill quantity so this is how we create an emb so that's it we have made an emb so it's simple and i hope you understand how to create an emb by now so if you have any doubts or any clarity you needed you can feel free to leave in the comment box and i will try to help out 
so i hope this video is useful for you please like share and comment and share especially because it will be useful for so much people around cpwd i am also leaving regular update videos regarding cpwd whatever updates we get from cpwd like uh, general conditions of contract and whatever update we get in my works manual everything i am trying to cover everything in my channel to to stay updated with cpwd so if you like to stay updated with cpwd you can surely subscribe to this channel and share this to your fellow fibits so thank you for watching i will see you soon in an another useful video